Good afternoon and thank you for joining me on Delicious by Debbie. And I have been wanting to do meatballs and spaghetti in my Instant Pot. And so I'm gonna do that today. I already have my meatballs made. I made these quite some time ago. I believe the recipe is on my uh, Delicious by Debbie. Uh, so I have some meatballs in here. I put a tablespoon of olive oil in here. My meatballs are frozen. Um, it seems like if you do it with them frozen, they stay together a little bit better. So you can even buy the frozen ones. You don't have to make your own, but these are some that I had made. They were in the freezer, so I'm gonna use them. So I've had it on saute for a couple of minutes to get it hot. And I'm going to actually cancel that. Let's see here, there we go. All right, I'm gonna cancel that. And I've got the frozen meatballs and Let's see, I'm gonna put the spaghetti, eight ounces of spaghetti, and I broke it in half. And I hope you can see this okay, I'm trying to. I'm gonna put the spaghetti over the top of these meatballs. Just laying it over top of the meatballs. And I'm gonna drizzle on that two tablespoons of olive oil so that they Spaghetti doesn't just all stick together, so I'm gonna. Okay, there's two tablespoons of olive oil. And then I have one jar of 42 ounces of just a traditional, it's Walmart's brand, great value. And I'm gonna put that over the top. And then I need three cups of water. And so if I just fill this up and rinse this out, it's gonna be my three cups of water. I'm gonna shake this up. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that three cups of water in there. Put a half a teaspoon of salt. And a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. All right, that's everything in there ready to go. And I am going to go ahead and put the lid on. And if you didn't want to use meatballs, you could just use regular hamburger. You could brown it in here and then just make sure you clean off the bottom good so you don't get the burn notice uh, and put everything else in. Uh, so you wouldn't have to have meatballs. All right, I'm gonna put turn this to sealing and I'm gonna put it for nine minutes. And we'll, I'll show it to you when we're done. Okay, our spaghetti is done. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So it absorbs some, it'll sit here and absorb some more of the moisture. I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese. I have some of this kind. And I also have some grated Parmesan and I wanna put some of that on it. Okay. Let that sit just a little bit and it will be ready for us to have our supper. And that didn't take very long at all. Once the Instant Pot came up to pressure, it only took nine minutes and then it's a quick release. So this is just about ready. As it sits there, it'll absorb, absorb more of that moisture. So I'm gonna try a little bit of this spaghetti and meatballs. Get a meatball here. As you can see, the liquid got all soaked up in the spaghetti once I opened it. And I'm gonna put a little Parmesan cheese on mine because that's the way I like mine. Mm. 
Okay. Mm. That is delicious. You'll have to try that sometime, and it was so quick. <laughs> 